The foundation of human civilization rests on the shoulders of science and technology. Back in 1944, this realization impelled the Nizam of Hyderabad to issue a firman directing his government to set up central laboratories for scientific and industrial research, CLSIR, at Hyderabad. Functioning from the campus of Osmania University. After the independence, political and scientific leadership of the country resolved to integrate CLSIR with Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, popularly known as CSIR. The institute continued to majorly focus on industrial development, agricultural needs and drug discovery. The freedom movement had seen a dream to build a modern, secular, technologically advanced and scientifically tempered India and the instituted committed was to this objective. This organization has roots way back to 1944 where the erstwhile Nizam issued a farman that this region should have a chemical laboratory to cater to the needs of the region. We are very proud that post-independence CSIR has taken over our lab. This lab was renamed as Regional Research Laboratory Hyderabad. This is one of the regional laboratories of CSIR. As soon as this laboratory was formulated, the mandate was set by the then government of India that it should, while catering to the needs of the chemical community, also should cater to the needs which are risen to the country. Incidentally, when we got independence, we had starvation and then we need to bring new pesticides to this country and those pesticides have to cater to the needs of farmers at the cost of what they can afford. I am very proud to state that our organization has made pesticide industry flourish in the early 50s and 60s and of course in the early 70s also wherein over 60% of the Indian pesticide industry was using the technologies developed by this great organization. During the past 70 years, the institute has expanded its activities in many areas. Today, it is internationally recognized for its contributions to chemistry research and is an ideal place for germinating ideas and taking them to commercial stage through the state-of-the-art research and development. With changing times, the Institute has always kept up by realigning its research focus on areas of national and international importance. The Institute's research and development activities could be categorized as strategic research, private goods, societal goods and public goods. It is important for any nation to become science and technology sufficient in order to develop. When India achieved its independence, the focus of R&D was to uplift the country's socio-economic position by upswinging the agricultural produce. But in no time, we understood the importance of producing our own technologies and securing our position in a globalized world. Developing scientific temper and applying it on areas of strategic importance to the country was the need of the hour, and different divisions of CSIR IICT responded to it. Various projects were developed to suit the requirements. Equipped with 300 MHz to 700 MHz spectrometer, CSIR IICT has the largest nuclear magnetic resonance NMR base in the country. It makes CSIR IICT a preferred destination for industry and academic institutes for studying molecular design and transient state chemical reactions. CSIR IICT has conducted research and development on polymers for various end users. It extends services to industrial clients and develop processes for paints, coatings and allied fields. When strategic sectors of India needed high performance materials for self-reliance, processes and technologies for such materials were developed by the Polymer and Functional Materials Division. 
several other processes and products like hydrophobic rain erosion resistant coatings, polyacrylonitrile resin for making carbon fiber were also developed as per need of strategic sector. India is dependent on advanced countries for its aviation lubricant requirement. Hence, CSIR IICT has launched a project for development of technologies for synthetic aviation lubricants from indigenous resources. Analytical facility comprising of highly sophisticated equipments has been created for lubricant testing and a pilot plant for the preparation of biolubricants has been established. Development of lubricants based on several non-edible oils like Jatropa, Karanja, Castor, Sal, etc. for different applications is also being actively pursued and several patents have been filed in these areas. Development of technology and its successful transfer to indigenous industries has been a vital responsibility that CSIR has taken up. CSIR IICT Hyderabad has developed a lot many technologies as per the requirements of Indian industry and has also attracted global partners to its innovative and benchmarked technological exploits. The process development of azithromycin AZT, one of the most expensive drugs for the treatment of AIDS, was developed indigenously for the first time, bringing down the costs in the world market. The technology has been successfully transferred to private players and other bent scale processes were also developed for norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, naltrexone and others for several clients both from India and overseas. Hyderabad has been identified as a pharma hub based on the contributions of CSIR IICT in supporting the pharmaceutical industry. To help find new scaffolds for the treatment of diseases affecting human race, the Institute has established National Mall Bank, a unique facility for storing the samples and sharing them for screening. The focus at present is in finding cures for tuberculosis, cancer and Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. They are also involved in the development of misoprostol drug which is used for family control and other uterus related problems. Due to acute shortage of edible vegetable oils in India, the focus shifted on development of processes for non-conventional oils like rice bran oil. Immediately after independence, the country faced acute shortage of food grains. CSIR IICT started working in the area of pest management and developed cost-effective and environmentally friendly processes for agrochemicals. They are working relentlessly on clean and green processes to use biopesticides as a substitute. Any technology until used for the good of the masses is not considered a noble technology. It is the vision of CSIR IICT to develop and transfer technologies for the greater good of the public. They have worked relentlessly on projects ranging from public health, agricultural technologies, environmental degradation and urban lifescapes. The Chemical Biology Division works for the primary screening of small molecules against cancer, CNS, diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. The Medicinal Chemistry and Pharmacology Division at CSIR IICT aims to actively engage in developing affordable therapeutics for human ailments, particularly relevant for Indian scenario. An innovative high-rate biomethanation digester called Self-Mixed Anaerobic Digester SMAD was developed at CSIR IICT for the treatment of organic solid waste. It was demonstrated at Livestock Research Station. 
LRS, a modular digester is designed based on scientific doctrine of environmental biotechnology coupled with advanced engineering principles to accomplish superior process efficiency for safe discharge of garbage. This technology is field tested and currently these digesters are working at housing colonies. For helping the farmers in the country, the stress of research changed its due course towards developing new pesticides without producing any side effects. It was realized that semiochemical, a naturally occurring volatile organic chemical released by plants, insects and other organisms, helps in specific communication purpose. Pheromones are chemical substances, usually mixtures of chemicals, that act as messengers of communication between individuals of the same species, eliciting behavioral responses. A species elicit pheromones in integrated pest management, IPM practices, has been recognized as an important and promising tool in providing ecologically safe and environmentally friendly control strategy. Particularly pheromones are found highly suitable in the management of minor, borer and dweller category of pests. To overcome the hurdle of corporatization of technology, Fluororganic Division was established at CSIR IICT in the 90s. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, were banned world over due to ozone depletion and thus hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, were identified as substitutes. But the technology of developing them rested with the first world, making it a prerogative on the developing world to harness an indigenous technology. The Fluororganic Division at CSIR IICT worked on chemical like 1112 tetrafluoroethane HFC 134A for developing suitable technologies. Disease modeling of vector-borne diseases like filariasis, malaria, Japanese encephalitis and dengue is developed by CSIR IICT. It is pioneering work in the area of public health. Biological databases on mosquito and mosquito-borne diseases was developed and transferred to Health Department, Government of Arunachal Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. The Design and Engineering Division is like a skeletal system for transferring technologies developed at CSIR IICT. The design team consists of process developers, process designers and detailed designers. They work together from the laboratory scale through bent scale, pilot scale and finally the commercial scale. The analytical chemistry division provides qualitative and quantitative analysis services, industrial and academic bases. The work undertaken by them is usually separated under mass spectrometry and separation sciences. Nanomaterials Laboratory is a part of the Inorganic and Physical Chemistry Division and has undertaken development of material and devices. The expertise lies in material synthesis, material characterization, device fabrication and material designing. X-ray crystallography, a facility for serving all CSIR IICT divisions, is known for its R&D activities on drug polymorphism such as safinamide, cetralin HCL, palonosetren, eripiprazole, tamsulosin. Its core competency lies in chemical crystallography and material characterization using powder X-ray diffraction of fluorescence crystal structure analysis on compounds of biological relevance and pharmaceutical importance. During the past more than 70 years, scientific, technical and administrative community working at Indian Institute of Chemical Technology has faced many scientific and technological challenges and have cracked complex problems. It has contributed to international pool of scientific knowledge 
the scientists and technologists working at CSIR IICT. Even today stand like a tight fist to face the challenges to tomorrow and a busy building, a scientific temper and an advanced country.